Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will be looking at switch statements with PHP. In our previous endeavor, we would have looked at our first selection statement, which would be an if else or if else if else statement. In this video, we will be looking at switch statements, which kind of do the same thing, allowing us to make a decision based on a value, but it's just a different way of accomplishing it. Now on screen, I have my index page, which has been our landing page for this PHP primer website. And the next page that we will create is one so we can have our switch statement examples on. So I'm just going to go ahead using Visual Studio Code, create a new file in the same folder, and I'm going to call it switch statement.php. Next up, we want to generate our HTML5 template. So we do that by just typing in HTML colon five in Visual Studio Code, and then we get our template. I will change this to switch statements for the page type tool. And before that, I would put PHP primer and a hyphen. Now it's always a good idea to let your users know what page they're on. So I'm just going to add an H1 tag to the top of this page to say which page it is that you've landed on. And I'll just say switch statements. And I'll just copy this code and use it also in the if statement page because we didn't do that. And I will just paste that there and say if statements, if or else statements, all right? Now that we've gotten those semantics and aesthetics out of the way, let's get down into our PHP. So we invoke our PHP tags and once again, always open and close at the same time. And then we start getting our hands messy. So I'm going to kind of retain the example from the if statement uh, video and we will just declare a variable called grade and we will give it some letter grade value and we'll say a All right now a switch statement pretty much has the word switch and Then we will put the variable that is under scrutiny So what happens is that we say switch and then we pass in some variable which implicitly has a value as we see all here we just declared grade and gave it a value of a and then we will define cases and then make a decision based on the case so that's a big picture let's get into it so we say switch variable name which is grade all right and then we open up our curly braces and then we say case and then the case would pretty much be saying, is the value equal to this or not? So the case that I want is that when it is A, I want to make a, take a certain action. So I say case, then value that I want to compare the variable here in the switch statement to. Then I say colon. And then in the next line, I write as much code as I need to, to get the task done. Um, in this situation, we just want to echo a statement. So if the case is A, if the grade is A, then I'm going to echo, you are a superstar. So we're going to use about the same statements from the if video. We'll just say you are a superstar. And we're putting that inside of H2 tags. All right. So if that is the case, if the case is that grade is, is the value A, Right, I guess you can read it like that. Then we're going to echo you are a superstar in H, two tags with a semicolon at the end of the line. And then we have one more keyword here that is necessary, which is break. So if we have multiple cases, which we are about to have, if we don't have the break keyword, then it will actually run through that case and every other case until it hits a break. So you always want to include your break after you finish defining your actions, just put a break. All right, and the indentation actually helps us to see where everything starts. So we say switch, then we indent, and we have all the cases um, on one ind indentation, and then we have all the actions per case on another indentation. That just leads to better readability. So the next case that I would have would be case and value is B. And if the value is B, and I'm just going to jump over to my if statement code and borrow what we did here, and you see that we had used the CSS stuff there okay uh, let me use this one sorry then you we want to echo you did well so i'm just going to echo 
you did well when the case is B and C, the indentation didn't quite work out. So I'm going to deliberately indent it because I like readability. And then after that, I'm going to break. And I'm just going to go ahead and include the CSS in this one. I believe you are superstar should print in green. All right. So we're just using back the same stuff from the if statement code where we printed in an H2 tag with the color green that you are a superstar if it's an A and if it is a B, you get it in blue, etc. So I'm just showing you that the if statement and the switch statement have a lot in common. All right. And then next we want to say default. So you can define as many cases as you need to. And each case it would be akin to a, like an if else if and the condition. But then if you run out of all the conditions and you're looking for a value that might be an outlier, then you would say default. So default would be the switch statements equivalent to the else in an if statement. All right. So we say default and then the default would print you have failed. So I'm just going to borrow this. And I'm just going to paste it down here, make sure I indent it. And I'm going to print that in red. And then the text should say, you have failed. Dot, dot, dot. All right. And then once again, we have our break statement. So if you had multiple things to do, maybe you did a little math, you did a little process, and then you wanted to print, it, it doesn't matter how many lines of code come within a case, just make sure that it comes after the colon and before your break. All right, so if I had multiple things to do here, I wanted to print this and print something else and print and print and do this and print, then I just have all of those lines between the colon and the break per case. And then all the cases are defined inside of your switch statement, which is the word switch. You open your regular bracket or a parenthesis, put in the variable that needs to be compared with something and then open and close your brace, your curly braces, and then you define your code in between. Now let's test the theory. So if I bring up my browser and I go back to my home page, and a good rule of thumb with web design is that from any page, you should be able to get to every other page. So in this situation, we're not going that in depth. We're just looking at PHP. And then when we start building our applications, then we'll see it uh, properly. But for now, we have all the links set up on our index page. And the next link up would be our switch statement. So when I click that, we see the text, you are a superstar. Why? Because our grade has the value A. And then when it's it said when, you know, make a decision on the value of A. And if the case is that the value, sorry, make a decision on the value of grade. And then if the case is that the value is A, then take that action. So if I change this to B, then the expected result, oh, sorry about that, expected result is that we should get you did well in blue. And if I change it to C, we get red text citing your failure. All right. And I left out a space. Let me just add that there. And then if it's any other value, meaning if I put F or G, then, well, you have failed at the end of the day because default is the catch all. Well, as long as these cases are not met, meaning the case is not that the value is A, the case is not that the value is B, then default is our catch-all that will just take certain actions accordingly. That's it for switch statements. They're relatively simple. And as you go along, you'll see the relevant needs for them.